good looking Asian guys are freaking evil. 10% of us are getting through now. Great, I'll take it. I think you saw the 30 year old Asian girl had whitewash 1.0 and then the 20 year old Asian girl had whitewash 2.0. Did you all date like the same dude? One! Asian women slandering Asian guys on TikTok. Once again, is this a trend or what? Yeah, it's like the world's tiniest violin thing. All right, everybody, we got a couple toxic, shameful Asian TikToks that were sent to us this week. We're gonna analyze them because they sparked a discussion. They're getting some views and man, oh man, we gotta watch them. Oh man, anytime it's Asian American women versus Asian American men, it just goes viral. Run the clip. Asian girlies get so much for going for white men. However, we are failing to consider that attractive Asian men are evil. They're evil. Woo! Yeah. Freaking good looking Asian guys are freaking evil. They're evil. Like, you know, Asian girls do go for white guys, but there's a reason. It's because the good looking Asian guys, they're evil. Yeah, the hot Asian guys are evil, but the six out of 10 Asian guys have like great hearts and they're great people and hardworking, but I'll never touch them. I'll never touch them. Yeah, only the hot ones. So the hot ones burn me. So I'm going to move on to other types of guys. Woo, Isabelle Orange, man. I think she ended up deleting her entire TikTok account. She felt shameful this. of it, guys. Let's give her some so credit. Let's not, hey, guys, she already, whatever, whatever, retreated from this stance. But I will say this. This is kind of reflects like a new type of whitewash mindset that I started to notice, which is whitewash 2.0, okay. where it's like, instead of writing off 100% of Asian guys, you just write off 90% of Asian guys. And then the 10% of Asian guys that are level eight, nine or 10 out of 10, you're like, yeah, those are the ones that I go for. The ones that are seven and below are still like slugs, invisible slugs to me. They could have the best hearts in the world, but still slugs. So, hey guys, don't get mad at me. I still date Asian guys. 10% of us are getting through now. Great, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, listen guys, I just think TikTok, it's like, you can just take from whatever, like, moment you're feeling you know like maybe she got a text message or she got unfollowed by a hot asian dude that they got together or whatever and then she dissed him and she's just like you know what all good looking asian guys are freaking evil so let's just go for the six foot tall beta you know tech looking white guy you know like your zuckerbergs this is a very common type of white guy that asian girls get with yeah. do, do you think the hot asian guys are like uh dude we like just started getting uh attention and now we're evil all of a sudden i don't doubt her experience i'm not gonna write it off obviously i think maybe she messed with like three of these hot asian guys and then they did her wrong or kind of like ghosted her or whatever and so she's like they're freaking evil a freaking 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 evil and then there's like two thousand comments from other i presume asian women who are like agreeing with her and i'm like wait did you all date like the same dude but you know what i noticed is that the asian women were all like pretty much like around 20 years old. Yeah. So this is, like I said, whitewash 2.0. It's a new version Amazing. of it. It still, like I said, leaves out the average Asian guy from, I guess, even being part of the discussion. But I guess it's different than the whitewash 1.0, Andrew, which is the, what the other clip that we got comes from. All right, let's watch this second TikTok, or I should say TikToksic. What do you guys think about Asian boys? Look over there. <laughs> What do you guys think about Asian boys? Look over there. This one was crazy because non-Asian women started getting involved in this. And, you know, especially like some black activists, they were like, girl, you need to check your white supremacy, your self-hatred, because other groups like Latin women and black women, we would not say this about our men. So you need to stop this immediately. Yeah, I'm not saying obviously a lot of Asian women even feel this way, but like, it's okay to like talk crap about Asian dudes, but like to do it publicly for clout is like next level, like slander. Right, like right, why, right. why why, you want to do that? It's Just almost like if the power dynamic is organically this way, we can, you know, it is what it is. Life is how it is, right? Tall people do better than short people, whatever, with rich people over poor people. If the power dynamic is like in America is Asian American women here and Asian American men are here, not in all circumstances i'm not talking about enclaves and stuff like that but like like you just don't don't try to boom 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 to a boom 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 right just don't try to take the power what is this of a vibes cartel song boom 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 i mean honestly this was like super interesting because it's kind of like a vietnamese asian stepmom who seems like she has a 16 or 17 year old white adopted stepdaughter because maybe she like married a guy who was divorced previous who was like 40 years old and white or whatever but it's like it was just wrong for her to take her micro sort of like leanings and preferences and then just try to blanket across like everybody, you know? Nah, it was like, the, I guess like that's the messed up part. It's foul because she was like, oh, do you like Asian boys? And then her daughter's probably thinking like, uh, BTS is okay. 
No, I'm talking about this guy. This is what all Asian boys turn into. This guy right here. First of all, shout out to that guy. And he's just sitting there talking on the phone. He's got to get called out. But I will say this. This Asian stepmom uh, clearly is not that much older than her stepdaughter. But she kept this video up. It's her highest viewed TikTok. She turned off the comments, but she's standing by it. She's like, yeah, I want people to see this because it was fun. And she waited out and she took the clout over the community telling her she sold out. Long story short, man, Andrew, what are your major takeaways from these two TikToks? Because like we said, TikTok's silly. Like, let's say for example, the first girl, she just got dissed, she's in an emotional state. So she's just yeah. taking her brain, putting it wow. up there. That Momo girl, she's just like seeing one unattractive Asian guy in a restaurant, taking it from here, putting it out there. She didn't have to load it in a final cut, didn't have to run it by her editors, didn't have to run it by, you know, her MCN or whatever like that. Like there's no like ways of filtering. You know, you don't make money off TikTok. So she, some people are really like looking at the currency as clout anyway, which is views. So, I mean, is it bad? Is it good? Or what is it? It's raw and unfiltered. And so in a sense, I appreciate it. But obviously my overall takeaway is that one, if you're a 10 out of 10 or nine out of 10 Asian guy, you rank that high. You're kind of above these problems. One, you're the type that this first girl is going to like date or go out with. And Even then though she's going to call you problematic after it happens. Right, right. But right. repeatedly probably fall into that dynamic. And then you don't fall into this category of, I guess, unappealing uh, less than average Asian guys that is depicted in this TikTok, right? Yeah, I think that the really good looking Asian guys that were like 40 years old still fell victim to that 1.0 version. Yeah, they, yeah, he was probably like, damn, you just caught me at a bad time. I had the itis, man. Like I was just like slumped over after eating a nice meal and then I'm getting called out. But I agree with you that guys that are right now ranking eight, nine out of 10 or out of 10, I agree that really good looking Asian guys are like having an easier time in 2022 though. Sure. For sure, they're they're less subject to yeah. the version 1.0 and especially 2.0 of whitewashing. I mean, whitewashing. all the first girl had to do to make it a community positive post, which I don't think was her goal ever, right? She could have just been like, oh my gosh, these these hot Asian guys are freaking evil. That's why you gotta focus on the regular looking Asian guys. They're the good steal. Yeah, 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 get Dude, with them. If she would've even said six to a eight, like, you know what I mean? A six to a 7.5 or something. Like, take a look in that range. It might have to be some good values. Yeah. Hey man, this is why I tell Asian guys, man, if you can't, you gotta travel out, man. You gotta meet different types of women, different types of people. Yeah, I do think that there's something weird in the Asian community right now where the guys who are eight or nine or 10 out of 10 ranked are getting like just super crazy ranked yeah. and I don't know there's a lot of selection issues we could get into the sample sizing and all this distribution hot Asian guys you need to issues. date out too man try that at the end of the day I think you saw the 30 year old Asian girl had whitewash 1.0 and then the 20 year old Asian girl had whitewash 2.0 obviously the 2.0 version theoretically is better because it includes more people but of course people don't really like to see these dynamics but at the end of the day for me as a, like somebody who works in media representation I want to see the raw uncut things straight out of people's minds and hearts all right, everybody, that wraps up our thoughts on it. Please let us know in the comments down below what you think about these TikToks. Were they really that bad? Or should we ever take TikTok seriously? And what do you also think about us standing up and doing this format? And yes, sorry, I did lose my voice. But please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Whoa!